good day, I'm Dr. T and welcome to my office. In this video, I'd like to talk about setting deadlines. Okay, so you, you've given an assignment and obviously the students need to do it, turn it back in so you can grade it, and when do they turn it back in? Uh, in some cases, you can have them turn it in at any time, especially if they're going to be, say, machine graded, etc. You know, the online homework or whatnot. Uh, or if you're doing certain types of module-based courses, which um, are great if you can do them. Uh, they're kind of hard to pull off. <laughs> but quite often, you know, everyone kind of needs to stay in sync so that you, know, you can take everyone's assignments, grade them, and get them back. You don't want to be grading them piecemeal if there's any subjectivity to them. Uh, obviously, if it's just simply matching a key straight up, that's a slightly different story. But, you know, if you're giving partial credit, etc., well, it's hard to make a key for exactly all the wrong ways to do an answer. Uh, so you're going to have to make some subjective judgments. And if you're doing them all together, you can be much more consistent and keep everything in line. Uh, additionally, if you're grading them kind of piecemeal, it is entirely possible for one student to do it, turn it in, get a grade, and then go tell the friend who hasn't done it yet uh, and give that friend a heads up and maybe a leg up on the assignment. Um, unfortunately, we saw with 2020, 2021, a lot of less than ethical behavior going on. So for this reason, you want a deadline. Once again, how strict you want that deadline, that's a somewhat different story. In some cases, you want a little bit more strict, especially where kind of for their profession, they're going to have to be used to strict deadlines. I mean, I, I would assume a journalism professor would have really strict deadlines because journalism is famous for deadlines. Uh, or you might want to give them a little bit more leeway. Either way, though, you know, obviously you need to get the assignments together and then be able to grade them. So when do you set the deadline? Well, obviously you need to set it early enough that you have time to, you know, grade them and get them back to the students in a reasonable amount of time. If the deadline is, say, at the end of the semester, those aren't going back to the students with enough time for them to do anything with the feedback that you're providing for them. Which, you know, if it's the final, that's fine. If it's the first, say, written assignment that was, you know, intended to be done kind of on week two, that could be a problem if things are going to build from it. So you want to make sure it's due quick enough that you can grade it, give them feedback, get that to them. But obviously you want to give them enough time. That is entirely dependent on what you are doing. Now, what you will find is that a lot of students, a lot of people in general, we faculty are just as guilty as this, don't actually pay that close of attention to the fine details of the due dates. They'll say, oh, it's due on Monday. I'll do it Monday, <laughs> which of course is a bad habit. We're all guilty of this. Well, if it's due Monday at 8 o'clock in the morning and the person starts working on it at, say, 2 in the afternoon, they've already missed the deadline. They don't realize that until they go to a, uh, submit it. So what you want to do is start thinking about ways that that can go wrong because that's going to build drama and you don't want drama. Uh, you know, once again, maybe if you're the journalism professor who, you know, the students need to really learn about these deadlines and that's part of your learning objective, that's one thing. But for most of the time, let's just try and avoid some drama. So my first piece of advice, and a rule that I almost always follow, if it's not due in class, obviously if it's due in class, then it's, you know, it's due Tuesday in class. Hopefully the students know when in class is, and that should be pretty obvious, especially if they know they're turning it in in class. But if it's due online, then really they could do it anytime and upload it anytime. So in those cases, I always set it to 11.59 p.m. Or if my learning management system or online homework system won't do 11.59, it you know, won't do nines, they will do 11.55. Usually they'll do intervals of five at least. Never midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever midnight because no one knows what midnight is. Uh, and you don't really want to do it early in the morning because, once again, they'll look at the date, which midnight would be early in the morning. Uh, they look at the date and you're like, oh, it's due on Tuesday, not realizing that by Tuesday it's due 2 in the morning on Tuesday, so it's really due Monday night. Uh, so the 1159 gives them this nice, as long as they're on Monday, they're good to go. And that works out really well. Editing me here, realized I left out of spot while editing this. So let's say you actually do want the assignment due at 8 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday or something like that, something that's not 11.59 p.m. What I have found works the best is you still make it due at 11.59 p.m. But instead of saying it's due at 11.59 p.m. and, you know, at 12 midnight, 
it's closed, you can't turn it in. You tell them, okay, it's due at 11.59 p.m., but you have an eight hour grace period, or I'll give you a grace period until early morning or something like that. That way it gives a couple of things. One, the due date is still the day before. They're not gonna be going on you know, Tuesday at 5 p.m. thinking they haven't missed the due date because they only saw the Tuesday part. Second, the students are gonna look at it and go, oh, that's cool, they're giving me a grace period. What a nice instructor, instead of, ah, oh, what a horrible instructor making me do this at eight o'clock in the morning. It's the same thing, but it's reframing how this works. And it really does cut back on the drama and makes everyone a little bit happier just by doing the same thing, but reframing it in a slightly different way. Okay, back to me. Second, what I like to do is be very regular. If I've got, say, homework that's gonna be due typically every week, it's always due Monday at 11.59 p.m. By the way, I'll get to Monday because I do like Mondays for these things. Anyways, so this way it's consistent. It's always due that Monday night. They get used to the pattern. They're not gonna pay that close attention to every single deadline, but if I create a nice pattern, they'll get used to it. Everyone's happy, little drama, always good. Now, why do I like Mondays? Well, I could make it due on say Friday or so, but let's just be blunt. I am not grading it on Saturday or Sunday. And if I'm not grading it, there's no real need for them to get it in. So I might as well give them Saturday and Sunday to work on it. I know as a student that I always really liked having the weekend in order to have a little bit more free time to work on it. Now, at some schools, students go home, students party, et cetera, on the weekends. They don't do work on the weekends. But not all students are like that, and I personally found it very, very helpful to do work on weekends. Give me some more time, a little bit of flexibility. Second, I like making it due Monday instead of Sunday. One, because some students you know, feel they need to do it on the date it's due and do try and keep some form of Sabbath on Saturday or Sunday. So another reason I don't like to do it on the weekend itself. But Monday gains an extra advantage. And that is if they have attempted to do it over the weekend and now realize that they need some help, they need to come to office hours, go to the tutoring center or the writing center or whatever else that would have been closed or not available to them on Saturday or Sunday, well, it should be available to them on Monday. That way they can take advantage of it with a few hours left, finish it up Monday evening and submit it if they need to do so. It gives the students a lot more flexibility. So for that reason, I like Monday 11.59 for most of my assignments. Not all of them. Obviously, you know, I've got deadlines and sometimes my deadlines force the deadlines that I set to be moved. So for my online courses, all the due dates are Monday 11.59 p.m. except the last one because the course typically ends on say Thursday or Friday. And well, the course is over, it needs to be over. So I can't give them the extra weekend because the course is over. And in that case, I will probably be grading that weekend. So yeah, I'm gonna need the extra time to grade that. So with that said, uh, when you're setting due dates, try and think about your students, try and think about the ways your students could get the due date wrong. And with that said, have a wonderful day.